Welcome to One Day, One Moment, One Minute in His Presence. Today we have an extended version. We're doing something a little different. We heard about something that was happening in Dalton, Georgia. There was a Bible leaking oil and we decided to go and check it out. But before that, Jeremiah 30, 17, for I will restore health to your body and heal you of your wounds. I would like to encourage someone today, if you are sick in your body, if you need emotional healing, if whatever it is, whatever you might be feeling today, you might be hurt, you might feel broken, I want you to cry out to God today. Call on Jesus and He will heal you. He promises to heal us. Sometimes the healing might be gradual and other times it happens just in an instant. Either way, don't lose faith. There is a man by the name of Jerry Pierce, and um, this started actually back in 2017. And as of today, to my knowledge, 2019, the oil is still leaking from the Bible. So Jerry Pierce, who's the owner of this Bible, um, noticed the spot of oil in his Bible back in 2017, I believe around February. He had his granddaughter and great-granddaughter visit, and after they left, he took his Bible, and so he thought they may have spilled something on it. He came to find out that um, it wasn't anything they did. And this started in Psalm 38, is where he first saw the oil. And it continued all the way to the book of Revelations. And then it started in Genesis. Long story short, the Bible was soaked in oil. They had to keep it in a Ziploc. And eventually he put it in a, um, a container and it began to fill up with oil. So um, I'm not going to go into the details about that. David Hevener has done a, a good documentary on this on YouTube on his channel, which is called Supernatural TV. So you can check it out for more details. I just want to share my experience in Dalton, Georgia. So we are in Dalton, Georgia. It's a beautiful day, a Tuesday. We are here to um, witness the Bible that is producing oil miraculously. Um, but not that per se, but we are here to just take a look to see what everybody has been visiting this place about. It's more about the presence of God from what I hear and not about the Bible. People are receiving healings and awesome testimonies. So join me. Let's check it out. Just walking in there, it was just a powerful time of just worship. Worship was going on. Just, It was just awesome. I have no words to describe it. The pastor preached a powerful message on seeking God and on living pure, living holy for Jesus. Um, it was it was powerful. And then there was a time where people were sharing testimonies. But now your guess is as good as mine. I was wondering where is the Bible? Um, well. As he continued to talk, he began to ask for testimonies. People began to share. People who had been there in the past and had taken some of the oil were sharing the uh, testimonies. They were sharing great things God had done. They had given it to different family members. They had applied it where they were sick. They had received healing. It was, it was just on and on and on. And then he said this. He said, okay, those who want to see the Bible with the oil is going to be on your left. If you need prayer, here are um, their prayer warriors here. And to me, that was awesome. A few things I just want to point out. The focus was not on the Bible. The focus was not on anything, but it was on Jesus the whole time. It was a time of prayer, of worship, of people just fellowshipping and loving on God. Interestingly, the Bible wasn't in like a safe, um, locked with key, in a, should I say a highly secure area with golden drapery and purple linens no the Bible was just in a corner in a plastic container and um, there was already oil filling up in it and I mean it, what I loved was the fact that the focus was not on the Bible but the focus was on Jesus and people were just praying and worshiping and uh, many people just went to the prayer rooms and they were praying and those who wanted to see the Bible had a chance to look at it I asked Jerry a few questions I was asking him so um, is this all the oil you've seen today and he said well they had actually poured some oil out um, earlier and so what they do they give the oil free the instructions they had from God was to give this free to anyone who needed it and God was going to continue to supply so as of now 2019 the oil 
continues to flow. Um, we don't know when it will cease, but I can say, I can just attest to the fact that based on what they share on their website and those who have been going to Dalton, that it continues to flow. It's been a powerful service. It's been powerful. It's people's testimonies and um, you saw the, the bowl with the oil and it's, that is not even what's most important, but just the presence of God there and people receiving healings, people coming with testimonies. We are blessed we came and um, there's still prayer going on and if you haven't been here and if you happen to be in the Dalton area I encourage you to just visit visit and just be a part of what God is doing pouring of oil into the different vials or vessels if you if you may reminds me of different accounts in the Bible where God performs miracles with oil there's the story of the widow of Zarephath where um, God commands Elijah to see this widow who was going to provide for him the oil represents provision now the widow had just a little bit of oil but miraculously as she poured out and she obeyed in faith what the prophet has said God continued to replenish this oil over and over in 2nd Kings chapter 4 verses 1 to 7 there's a story of another prophet called Elisha one of his associates I would say died and his widow was left with a debt she couldn't pay again the instruction was given to pour out oil into vessels to borrow vessels from everywhere and continue to pour she was able to pay her debt and live on the rest with her sons for the rest of her life and we continue even into the New Testament you hear in the book of James chapter 5 verse 14 there is the um, there's an instruction where God where, uh, where we are told to anoint the sick with oil and pray for them lastly there's an account in Jerusalem or the temple of Jerusalem where a little oil was put in the temple menorah and it lasted eight days and that was a miracle because the oil wasn't expected to last that long I just want to encourage you to not lose faith to continue to trust God whether you make it to Dalton or not that's that's not really the point I wanted to share my experience and there's a statement I had that has really always sat with me. Um, the statement was this, the person with an experience is never at the mercy of a person with an argument. There's gonna be different accounts of things, but I just wanna encourage you, keep your faith in God. Remember, God is a healer. Take dominion.